What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to LTH. My name is Abe and in this video I want to cover spam hoss on OpenSense. And if you don't know what this is, this is just a way of providing a security measure to your OpenSense firewall. As you can see, they analyze every 24 hours over 7 million IP addresses, domains, mailboxes, etc. So this is essentially a live threat feed that we can add to OpenSense. So when bad malicious IPs hit spam hoss and it goes into their database, our firewall will also block it. Also, don't forget, we have a website, learnthehomelab.com, where you can follow step-by-step -step instructions for all our videos at the first link down below. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and log into your OpenSense machine and we need to back up our firewall. Before you ever make any changes to your firewall, make sure you back it up. So we're going to go to the uh, left side, click system, configuration, backups. And then here on our backup page, we'll just click download configuration. So we have a working copy with a date, 2025, November 14th at 0919 in the morning, okay? And so once you have a backup, we can now be comfortable to make any changes to our firewall. And if it breaks or we do something we couldn't do, we can just go restore configuration with this button after we've chosen to upload that latest downloaded file of our configuration, okay? And so the next thing we need to do is go over to uh, firewall, aliases, and IP. So if I close this, I go to firewall, aliases and then under here we're going to go to um add an ip geez aliases ip which is just this ad right here in the bottom and then we're going to name it whatever we want to name it so given the alias description i'm just going to call this spam hoss block list like this and then category, you know, you could type here whatever you want, like IP block or URL block or something along those lines. And then for type, we will set this to URL table. So URL table IPs, just like this. And then in the content field, we're gonna enter the URLs, which will be linked in the description on the step-by-step -step guide for spam hoss. So the spam hoss drop list is called this, just like that, under content, okay? And then our block list will be right here, just like that. So we're gonna add these two in here, spamhoss.org, drop, drop list, and then block list. And you can actually go to these websites and see what's on this list. So if I just type that URL into Google, we can see a list of malicious IP addresses that our machine will now be blocking by default, just like that. So it's super, super useful. And then let me see if I can get the other one to pull. Yep, just like this. And so now we can see this is a 25 project list it was last modif modified today. So these are live changing lists. So you're getting this live feed. Okay, and so for our refresh frequency, this is up to you. You can do daily, weekly to keep the list fresh, whatever. We are going to do days, every one day. Okay, and so this is just the description, just so you can see for yourself. When I put one day, that means this is going to update every 24 hours. As the description says, if you put one day plus eight hours, that's 24 plus eight, you would get, it would update every 32 hours. And then for categories, for grouping purposes, you may select multiple groups here to organize them. We don't have any other group really, so we're not gonna put anything there. And then spam hoss block list in the description and then click save and then to add this we're going to click apply okay and so that just took man i don't know maybe 20 seconds or so to add this here we can see it's enabled the name the type the description and then the content whoops i made it flip so it's down here and when it was last updated and then we can 
um, also see how many it loaded. So it looks like 24,828 individual line items were loaded. And now we need to apply this because this is just a firewall alias slash rule that's sitting here. So it's not really any good to us until we actually apply it to something. So again, under firewall, we need to go down to rules and then we need to select the interface to add the rule to blocking these IPs. In our case, we want it to happen on the WAN. When stuff comes into the network or attempts to connect from our WAN port coming inbound, right? Because OpenSense works firewall rules based on coming into a port when we set a rule. So when traffic's coming into WAN, so this would have to come from the public internet, our ISP, it would then block that inbound connection. And if we wanted outbound connections coming from our home network, trying to connect to these IP addresses outbound, we will also need to make a rule on the LAN to do so. So under here, we're just going to click plus. Okay, and so once we have the firewall rules LAN op WAN, excuse me, opened up, there's five things we need to change. So for action, we want it to block this traffic. So if you want to read the description, you can turn on the full help at the top right. But what this does with the packet, once it matches the criteria, it blocks the traffic. And then the next thing we want to do is go down to interface. This will be selected as WAN direction inbound. So direction of the traffic in is coming into the firewall interface. Like I explained, this is the default behavior of OpenSense. Well, traffic out is going out of the firewall interface and visual terms, source in, firewall out, destination. Hope that makes sense. But once again, I kind of already iterated that. And then we're number four, we need to go down to source. And so this is where we created an alias. And this is why aliases are really nice and important because we, instead of adding a single host or network, we can add a big group of things and then just grab them, right? And so in here, we'll just click alias, spam host block list. And then the last thing we need to do is number five, which is the description. So add a good description. In our case, it's gonna be the same thing, just spam host block list, click save, and then apply changes. And now that is effective immediately. And so we also have a little legend, so you can see this, block incoming first match, boom. Just like that, and then spam, spam host will start blocking that content for us, just like that. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. My name is Abe, signing off with another video.